It's day 35 here at the produce section where I'm going to show you just how easy and affordable it is to eat healthy. It's also Christmas Eve, so make sure to tell everyone at the dinner table tonight about the challenge so they can become happy and healthy with you. Okay, we're going to start with some beets. $2.99. Next up we have carrots. $0.45. Cents. We have a lemon and a lime. $0.39 cents for the lime and $0.79 cents for the lemon. Here's a yellow onion. That's going to cost me $0.50. Cents. On to the bulk section. Here's some split peas. That's 30 grams of protein and only $0.55. Cents. We also have some dates. And that's going to cost me around $0.75. Cents. And pistachios. $1.50. Let's grab some fruit. Banana, 18 cents. Mango, on sale, one dollar. And blackberries, two dollars and fifty cents. So I've got a basket full of food. Let's see how much that's gonna cost us. So my total for today was eleven dollars and fifty cents. Not bad. You know, my cashier here today at Ralph's was disabled. And I just want to say thank you to Ralph's. If you support people with disabilities, then I support you. The first thing I'm going to do when I get home is I'm going to add my split peas to some boiling water. I'm then going to peel and slice my beets and add them to the oven preheated at 450 degrees. Next, I'm going to add some onion and garlic to a pan with some water. We use water because we never use oil. Once those onions and garlic become nice and brown, I'm gonna add in some cubed carrots. My split peas have finished cooking, so I'm gonna add them into the pan with the carrots, onions, and garlic. I'll also add in a couple cups of water and then start seasoning. I'm going to add some sea salt, some black pepper, and some Italian seasoning. I'm then going to stir and add in some diced tomatoes. I have this can left over so I'm just going to add in a little bit for some flavor for the broth. So this is what it should look like. We're going to cook on a low heat because we want to keep it as a soup but we also want it to cook down. My beets just finished, so I'm gonna add those to a bucket with a little bit of sea salt. Next, I'm going to add my pistachios to a blender. These had shells on them, so I had to take those off before doing this. Next, I'm going to add my dates, and then I'm gonna pulse, not blend. What you should end up with is fine chopped pistachios and dates. I'm then going to add those to my roasted beets. Next, using a strainer, I'll squeeze half of a lemon over the pistachios, dates, and beets. Now let's work on our breakfast. So I'm gonna add my blackberries to a bowl. I'm also gonna add bananas and some mango. I'll top that with some lime juice and some organic blue Agave. So for breakfast, I have blackberries, bananas, and mangoes topped with some fresh lime juice and some blue agave. And for lunch, I have split pea soup with onions, garlic, carrots, a little bit of tomato, and some seasoning. For dinner, I have roasted beets with pistachios, dates, and a little bit of lemon juice. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy your Christmas Eve with your friends and family. Make sure to check back here every single day at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time for new videos on Facebook and Instagram. There's also a share button below. Make sure to share in any of the groups you are in.